this is a response to um, a scientist uh, with the last name Wan, Lei Wan, I think. And he made a TEDx video about um, why the, or how the human body is asymmetric on the, on the inside. It, it turns out it's actually asymmetric on the, the outside also. But um, as I pointed out, uh, Plato argued that the, because the human body is symmetric on the outside, therefore numbers are symmetric and reality is, is symmetric. Um, but this uh, scientist Juan, um, if you look up his, his, his published research, it's tied to this, the, the uh, same research on, on a deeper level of um, microtubules. He, he references, he calls them cilia in the video. And as soon as he talked about cilia, then I, I know that cilia are actually made up of microtubules. And so I just looked up asymmetric microtubule. That yeah, it's they call it the MOTCS the microtubule organizing centers, and, and they're saying that it is evolutionarily conserved. And this is from um, fruit flies, fruit flies uh, cells, all the way up to uh, human cells. And so they're discovering that um, the, he the health of the cell and, and the stem cells that regulate growth uh, all to rely on this conserved asymmetry. And so then I, um, I found this article about the golden ratio which is, it was a recent article from a couple years before, like a year before this um, microtubule asymmetry research in it. And it, the Golden Ratio art, article is arguing that, you know, of course, symmetry is the key to reality, and asymmetry is just sort of a random contribution that has to be regulated by the symmetry. So, it, of course, if we study um, Sir, or Professor, or Nobel physicist Roger Penrose, and uh, Professor Emeritus Stuart Hanroth, they, they focus on the microtubules. that the microtubules rely on quantum non-locality through the tubulin proteins within them and also the, the interaction with the um, dipole, quantum dipoles, ele electron dipoles, so the, um, the spin is a uh, asymmetric time. So, um, and then Penrose has recently emphasized that, in fact, his twister model of reality depend, it's originates from non-commutative phase logic. And he did uh, co-author a paper about non-commutative phase math, but 
twisters, but he's, he himself admits that he can't really do non-commutative math, which is also called a quantum algebra. And so, um, he was promoting this Platonic worldview, which of course relies on science. momentum and that and that's why you get non
episodes.